All right, I'm gonna be working on a little water cool Briggs again today, and uh, I'm gonna start by uh, grab a seat here. Uh, I'm gonna drill a hole here, drill and tap it for these uh, fittings here. That's a half inch pipe thread there. One's gonna go there, and then we already have uh, this one here, and then there's just gonna be a little little pipe connecting them too. And uh, I got a drill. It's uh, it's just about in the right spot there. That should go straight through, and then we got this one over here. This is the inlet, and this is going to be the outlet. And the way I have that right now, that lines up with this, this other one here. And uh, when this comes out, it's it's probably just going to come alongside of it, and we have dual dual pipes running down the side here. But I think it'll look good if they're uh, in line. So uh, I'm going to drill that, and I might have to mill out just a little bit right here after I drill it. Maybe not, you know. Actually, it looks like I might not have to. Maybe just have to hit it with a little uh, die grinder or something. We'll see. But anyway, uh, we're going to set you up. We're going to set it up in this uh, vise here, the drill vise, and see if we can uh, get it pretty level and square so we can... Uh, Put in some nice threads. All right, let me do that. Just punch it while we got it here. There we go. Close enough, eh? All right, we're all clamped up here and uh, tightened down in a vise here, and. Uh, I made sure it's level, pretty close, pretty close. And uh, whenever you check for level on something, always make sure your equipment's level. There we go, pretty close. All right. Also, what I did is uh, I have it set up for the tap. So uh, after I drill a hole, I don't have to move anything. Just uh, start tapping away. All right. All right. I am going to drill a pilot hole before, but before I put a pilot hole in there. I'm going to take my drill here and see where I, I want it. And I don't want to go any deeper than that, so I'm going to put a piece of tape on it. Because I got a, a hole right here, a, a bolt hole that holds that head onto the block. So I'm going to, uh, like I said, I'm going to wrap a piece of tape on this so I don't go any deeper than that. Okay. All right, a little bit of alcohol here. It does help for the, from that stuff sticking. I'm put my glasses on so I can see where we're going here. Alright, we're almost there. Alright. Alright, see the alcohol does? It keeps it from sticking, you know? Look at it, the chips come right off of there. Before they would have stuck on there. All right, the alcohol there, get right in the hole. It's cheap. Don't worry about it going all over the place. It's cheap. Good sharp drill. Look at that. Look at the curls coming off of that. Well, we're stuck. Hold up. There we go. I got a little aggressive. I keep the belts like that deliberately so uh, things don't uh, start whipping out of your hand and stuff. Safety feature. It's a safety feature I made. How oh, nice that's cut. Do that. Don't ever do this. You cut yourself, kids. Keep your fingers away from that stuff. Alright. I think we're where we want to be. Okay, that worked out perfect. You can't see from where you're at, but it actually put a hole inside here, so I'm not even going to have to mill it. I'm just going to have to uh, touch it up with a Dremel or a die grinder. But uh, that worked out perfect. Let me get this out of here. And we'll try and tap it. What I'm going to do is, uh, this here is just a center punch, just a point. 
you know, a round one, you know, so it fits in here nice. And uh, it's going the wrong way. <laughs> oh, really, can you kill me? All right. So we're going to stick that in there. I'm going to have to raise it up a little bit, yeah. A little more. Well, well, no, that's good. That's good right there. Right. How much room you need? All right, let me get this set up, and we'll turn these back on. All right, I am going to lube it up there. We got Tap Magic here. It says for cutting applications on all metals, and I know this stuff is good. Tap Magic, but then we also have this uh, aluminum cutting fluid here. Where yeah, the handle's in the way, and it's. Uh, for tapping and drilling and everything, but it's uh, made for aluminum, so I think we're going to go with this one. Uh, better change handles. I had a little handle out, but uh, the tap won't fit in there. So, uh, all right, let's uh, let's try and start this thing. That's a seven sixteenths drill there. To me, that sounds a little small, but uh, that's what they call it for. So, seems to be working. I got that. In the drill press there, pretty tight. So look at that, my. It's just barely. I'm right here at the. You guys, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm right there at the post. So. Alright. You hear the chips cracking. Yeah, this is a pipe thread. You know, these are a little different than regular threads, because if you if you put them in too deep, then then you're gonna ruin it. Oh, I keep I keep grabbing my. My extension cord there, not my extension cord, but uh, the plug. All right, yeah, it seems to be cutting pretty good. All right, I'm going to. Uh, matter of fact, I probably don't even need the, the thing here anymore. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's cutting nice. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I don't know if it's because of the leverage I'm getting with this big pipe, but uh, that's cutting in there real nice. Usually you want to go a half a turn and a quarter back and clean them chips out of there. And then when you guys ain't looking, I'm going to blow them out of there. You're not supposed to blow them out, but uh, I am. Uh, I'm going to turn these off for a minute. Okay, I cleaned it up and blew it out a little bit. Took the thing out, and it's, it's accepting a thread. And it's not going, not going very deep yet. So I still got some threads, so I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to keep going. Like I said, you got to be careful with these uh, tapered threads or else uh, you'll... You screw your brains out. So uh, I'm gonna go just a little bit deeper and call it good. All right, let's see how we did here. I put a couple more threads in. There we go. See, it seems like it's loose, but that's because it's tapered. Okay, like I was telling you to be careful. I almost went too far, but actually I went right where I want to be because uh, I want to put some Teflon tape on there. Uh, we'll be fine because it has come down, line up straight, so. Okay, yeah, we almost got carried away there, so uh, be careful there. All right, let me, let me uh, line the other one up. Okay, before I start the other one, here's, here's what I was telling you about. Here's that hole right here. You know, when I drilled that, it came right there. So that's perfect. All I have to do is uh, clean that up a little bit, and uh, we're good to go. It's funny how uh, things just work out sometimes. Uh, yeah, I actually don't have to put it on the mill. I, was gonna have to, I thought I was going to have to mill out a little channel, but... I won't. That's good. Okay. We did this one while you weren't looking. Let's uh, I just cleaned it up. Let's see how we're doing here. Like I said, it looks loose, but it don't. Okay. We've got uh, three threads left. Two threads left. So that's good. Huh. We'll tape on there. It'll go right where we want it to. Alright, we're happy with that. Alright, we're just about done there. Alright, this, where you at? Can you see that? There you go. Yeah, this hole here isn't that far off. It's actually only have to be uh, 5 sixteenths. Because that's, uh, that's what this hole is here. This is a 5 sixteenths drill and it uh, fits in there perfect. So, I mean, that would be probably fine just the way it is, but uh, I, can't, I, can't, I could probably just uh, force a drill in there somehow. I uh, don't have much meat here to grab with the chuck, but. Uh, I'll probably do that, but I think what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna dick around with it and uh, ream it out a little bit with a Dremel. 
You know, the Dremel. Dremel's a good tool. You know, if it's used for the right purpose. So I'm going to do that. But also, uh, I wanted to mention this uh, something for the younger guys. There's like uh, a little, a little burr sticking up here. I already took care of this one here, you know. And what I use is uh, this uh, little drill. It's a big drill. It looks like about a three-quarter. And I made this. This thing. I made this back in the 70s. I was an apprentice, tool and die apprentice. I even put my initials on it. And uh, I was probably proud as hell of this thing. But uh, this has been around with me a long time. You don't need a, a fancy uh, deburn, snap-on, whatever tool. You know, you just uh, take this and uh, this this will work with just about any hole, and just uh, spin it a little fast. You don't you don't have to have it. Uh, you don't have to do it hard or nothing like that. And that uh, that takes care of your burrs. And then to dress it up a little bit, you just go real slow and uh, makes it look good. So there you go. Make your own tools. You, you, you'll have my lifetime. All right, let me work on this hole here and uh, finish this up so we can send it out. go. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Just that fast. We're good to go. Alright. I actually made that, uh, can you see that? There we go. I actually made that, uh, it's tough for me to see. Made that bigger than uh, 516, so that's, uh, that's plenty big. Like I say, the inside of these uh, fittings is only 5 sixteenths. I think I called this fitting a half inch earlier. It's only a, that's a quarter inch uh, pipe thread on there. That's not half inch. But uh, so this is done. This is all ready. I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this up and uh, wipe it down with acetone. I think that's what you clean aluminum with when you're gonna weld it and uh, send it out. So that'd be good. All right. Well, uh, it's out getting uh, welded up. I think what I might do is uh, finish doing the epoxy on this and maybe uh, finish this up. Alright, I'm sure we'll find something to do. But uh, I think we'll call this a video. You guys, uh, I don't want to spoil these. I don't want to make them too long. So, right. enough of this.